uh, say we have a manifold Q and uh, we have a map, uh, not a map, but a, a function, a real valued function, F. Real value just means it takes values in the real numbers. Let's say it's smooth, I don't know. And say we have another map, phi. It's a, uh, maybe it's a diffeomorphism, I don't know. Somehow it mixes up all the points in Qs and gives you another element of Q, so it kind of swirls them around somehow. Uh, and then we evaluate F again. F goes from Q to R again. Okay, to say that this diagram commutes means that if we evaluate F after having mixed things up with this phi, uh, that would have been the same as just evaluating F without mixing things up. This is what it means. It means F composed with phi acting on X is equal to just F acting on X for all, for all the X and Q. The statement is equivalent to saying um, F is phi invariant. The takeaway message, the big thing here is that F is, something is preserved about F or something is preserved about f despite the action of phi. Yeah, let me give you an example which is more visceral. So instead of q, uh, you know, some smooth manifold, let's take something we really know. Uh, there's a lot of things you could do with guys. One thing you could do with guys is you could feed them beer. And if you do that, and you do it enough, you will get an element of a different set. Guys and drunk guys, they can do a lot of things. Uh, the one thing they could do is the following. So, well, we're going to construct a map. Now, the, I'll, I'll tell you the domain in the range of the map. There's going to be two maps. One is going to be F, and it's going to take, it's going to take a guy, and it's going to give you a set of reactions. Uh, one of them will be called, yeah, Y-E-A-H. Another reaction uh, will be called mace. Uh, there'll be another map called F hat, which is awfully the same, except for it acts on drunk guys. And it will have the same set of reactions. M-A-C-E, mace. Uh, and what, what is the map? Uh, the map is as follows. Uh, say, uh, we, we, there's, there's this girl, okay? I'll call her Sally. I don't know why. And uh, you can say something to Sally. So let, let, let's take a guy. We'll take a guy, Dave, say. And Dave can say something to Sally. What's he going to say? He'll say the following quote to Sally. No, Sally should be wearing pants, by the way. You can, you, so, so a guy can say this to Sally and he'll get a reaction. And we, we call that reaction F of the guy. Okay, so F takes a guy and gets a reaction and the reaction is obtained by saying this quote to Sally. Okay. So, you know, take a guy, say David or some, or Joris or Bob or Kenny, some guy, and he said, you know, and, and apply F to that so that guy means having that guy say that quote to Sally and getting a reaction. And the reaction is one of two things. It could be yeah, or it could be mace. Um, and you know, you could, you could do basically the same thing with drunk guys. Of course, the, it's a different map because it acts on a different space. Um, but the reactions are the same. Yeah. Oh, sorry. But the reactions are the same, so. So it's a triangle, actually. Okay, and, and to say that this diagram commutes is to say that if you have a, if you feed a guy, David, Kenny, yours, Bob, uh, if you if you give him some beer, and then have him say that quote to Sally, you'll get some reaction. But you would have gotten the same reaction had you not fed the guy beer at all. And what it, what it says is that this map F is somehow invariant with respect to feeding. Uh, guy's beer. Uh, there's something preserved about this map F. Well, what is preserved? I, it's hard to describe, but I would describe it as douchebaggery. And so th this is a commutative triangle. It's the most important example that uh, I think you should memorize. Um, and then 
you know, here's an actual mathematical example, which is to say that the, the, the real number that f evaluates doesn't matter if you mix things up with phi, so that phi is, f is phi invariant. There's something similar about f composed with phi and f. Somehow f ignores phi. Okay, well, that's enough of that. Uh, the, the next most important example is a, well, a commutative square. Say you have a, a manifold, and you have the tangent bundle of the manifold. I'll describe what those terms mean later if you don't know what they are. A Lie group action, a principal bundle. I'll, I know these words may not make sense to everybody, but um, this is just to give an actual example that's not stupid. And then, so this, this is a common diagram that we'll be seeing later. And, and uh, I won't say what these maps are, what these spaces are, but, but what the big takeaway message is, is that somehow this map and this map are very similar, and somehow this map and this map are very similar. There's something that these, these two maps have in common, and there's something that these two maps have in common. It's very similar to the triangle, except for we get this extra map down here. Another way to think of it, you could think of the commutative triangle as, a, as a, a special case of a commutative square where this map here is the identity. If this was the identity, then this, these two spaces would be the same, and these nodes would collapse into one and you would, you would get a triangle. But anyway, the commutative square is, is not that, it's a square, and you get two comparisons. Okay, so now let's do a, a silly example. Okay, you can take something like a cat. So we'll, we'll consider the set of cats, we'll call it. We'll, call it cats. And uh, you can do things to the cats. You can throw them, for example. Let's throw them. When you throw the cat, you'll get something else. I'm choosing cats because cats are really popular on the internet and I hope to be popular on the internet also. Okay, so then another thing you could do with cats is uh, you could just do nothing. You could just wait. Wait 10 minutes. I'll just be explicit. Just wait a while. You could do the same thing with flying cats, actually. You could also wait. Um, when you when you wait, though, well, you'll get you'll get another cat. You'll get an older cat, though. And um, the same with flying cats. You'll get an older cat. Let's make, pretend waiting refers like wait a month or something. Wait a month. No, no, no. Don't wait that long. Wait uh, a minute. Uh, then there's something you can do with older cats, especially if they're on the floor. You can push them. Okay, now to say that this diagram commutes, especially if you're throwing the same distance that you're pushing, say, say you throw the cat one meter or you push the cat one meter. This, to say this diagram commutes is to say that if you waited, you know, wait a minute, and then push him one meter. That's the same thing as throwing the cat one meter, and then uh, waiting one minute. You get the same object. You get an older cat who's one meter away from you. That's my stupid example. And then what, what it means is that there's something very similar about pushing and throwing. What's, what's similar? I would call it movement. There's motion involved. There's something, I mean, generally speaking in mathematics, it's not so, it's not so visceral what, what, what is the thing that's similar about the two maps, but the fact that you can draw this commutative diagram tells you there's something similar. Uh, in this case, we can actually say what it is. It's...